I make videos just because. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys four really easy ways to DIY and decorate your own Christmas baubles. I have them sitting behind me right now and I feel like they turned out really cute and I'm actually really, really happy with how this video turned out. I know it's a little bit different than the kind of content I usually make, but it was a lot of fun to make. So if you do enjoy it, let me know and maybe I'll make a few more DIY kind of crafty videos like this in the future. Who knows? So Christmas is only a few days away and I know that this video probably feels like it's going up a little bit late but I actually reckon that these baubles would make really good last minute gift ideas so if you have anyone in your life maybe some family or friends that you're still thinking of getting a present for but you have no idea what to get then maybe you might want to consider making them a bauble otherwise you could just make them for next year up to you actually when I went into Riot to get all the supplies for this video everything was like 50% off so if anything now is actually a really good time to make these baubles because you'll save yourself a penny. I'm not sure if Riot's just a craft store here in Australia, but I'm sure no matter where you live, you'll be able to find a craft store that sells all these supplies. If not, you can always buy them online. But anyways, enough rambling, let's get crafting. Okay, so the first design we're gonna be making today are these super trendy and fancy looking marble baubles that are surprisingly made by using crayons and a hairdryer. To make these ones, you will need some fillable baubles, some crayons in whichever colours you would like. I decided to go with a more neutral colour scheme, but of course you can make yours as bright and as colourful as you wish. You will also need a pair of scissors and a hairdryer. So first up, I feel like this is common sense, but it's kind of important that you remove any wrapping from your crayons. And next up, you want to kind of cut them up into little tiny pieces. And it's really important to not make them too big, as then not only will it take like 10 years to melt, but it also gets a bit messy looking. Then after that, you want to add a couple of those tiny pieces into your bauble. And I recommend starting out with the lighter colors and adding the darker ones later as you go. And then you kind of just want to let your bauble chill above your hairdryer on the higher setting. Now just a word of warning, this actually takes quite a bit of time, so I'd recommend watching some Netflix or some YouTube while you're doing it. There's this really great YouTuber called Just Because who has a bunch of videos you can watch while you wait. Ah, just kidding. Anyways, eventually the crayons will melt and all you have to do is swish them around to make sure that the bauble is completely covered in your beautiful marble design. So these next ones are really simple to make and I think they end up looking really pretty. All you'll need for these ones are some fillable baubles, your choice of loose glitter and some craft glue. The first step is to make a glue wash using a little bit of the glue and some water to get it to a really runny consistency. Then all you want to do is open up your bauble, swirl some of the glue wash through the bauble and then drain it before adding your glitter and swirling that around as well. And basically that's it. All you have to do is let it dry, which takes no time at all. It's so simple, so easy, and I don't know, I think it looks really pretty. The third bauble design are these sequin and pearl baubles that I'll be honest didn't turn out anywhere near as amazingly as I thought they would just because I underestimated just how many supplies I'd need. So to make these ones you will need some foam baubles, some sequins and I personally recommend using some pretty large ones and you will also need a lot more pearl headed pins than you probably expect. Starting from the base, you want to attach a sequin to the absolute bottom of your bauble with a pearl headed pin and use this as your base point to add from. Now I'll be honest, this process does take a while, especially if you aren't prepared enough like I was because I had to redo it a few times to re-spread my sequins, but it ends up looking really pretty. And aside from how long it takes, it's not actually that hard to achieve a nice result. So now for our final DIY. Now this one looks really Pinteresty and cute and it turned out so much better than I expected. And for it you will need some baubles that have a cut out front, some fake flowers, scissors, glue and some twine. So the first step is to fill your bauble with the flower by placing some glue on the base and holding it there until the glue dries. This may take a couple of minutes so just be patient. Next up, and you can skip this step if you want to just leave it as is, but I thought it would be cute to add some twine to the top of the bauble. So what I did was I measured my piece around the top, cut it off and then just glued it down. And I really love the touch that this added to the bauble and I don't know, it just turned out really cute and Pinteresty. <sighs> I'd repin it. Alright 
guys I hope you enjoyed today's video if you're gonna try any of these out please let me know down below and also let me know down below which one were your favorites I think I personally like the marbled ones the best like I don't know I feel like they turned out really cool if you haven't already make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit subscribe turn your notifications on all that jazz and because I won't see you guys again before Christmas I also want to take the time now to say Merry Christmas to you all I hope you have a wonderful day I hope you get lots of presents eat lots of food spend lots of time with your family and just have an awesome day and if you don't celebrate Christmas then I hope you have a great day off and I also hope you have a happy whatever it is that you celebrate but until next time I will see you guys later bye bye